Caramba, meu. Susto aí, hein? Guys, we are leaving uh, the hotel now. Vai ali, já abaixo o Beleza. Probably the petrol, the bike, twice already. It didn't start the engine, so we are leaving the hotel now. Uh, I thought I was filming. I lost like the we are uh, <coughs> like five minutes of talk with the guy. We are. We have a guy who are, are going to help us clear customs because it, it's not because it's impossible, but it takes too long. We don't want to waste a day. So yesterday the bike didn't start, and I don't know. It's probably the quality of petrol, but after the second, third ignition, it started. That's something you have to uh, be careful here when you when you put like petrol in petrol stations that are away from city centers the, the, it's very likely they add some water or a lot of ethanol really now is eight o'clock in the morning we have to be one of to get there very very early and the guy with the yellow helmet is the one uh, who is going to help us to clear the docu the documentation and all that it's a very bureaucratic country, Bolivia. You have to, to get a permission for the bike, a permission for yourself. You have to photocopy uh, all your stuff twice. And this guy charged us 70 reais, uh, which is about $15, $20 to help us with the documents. You can do it yourself, yeah, but you know, it, it's gonna take the, the whole day to clear documentation and then we're gonna, uh, you know, uh, we wanna head, we wanna save one day. I think it's worth, you're worth paying. So here we are approaching the border. Turista, tourist, border, Brazil, Bolivia. Let's pray God that everything will go will go okay and then we are gonna enjoy our journey. And I'm very positive always, so <coughs> I'm sure that we are gonna clear things very quickly. Opa. Now we have to stop and do something. Aí eu mandei um pedido de mensagem ontem dizendo que não ia ter trem, aí me passaram por um ônibus. Aí me depois me mandaram mensagem dizendo que a empresa não ia fazer o horário do ônibus. Aí falaram que ia ter uma outra. Positiva. É, é. Com a valorização do petróleo e tal, eles. I've just cleared customs. Now I'm entering Bolivia. Now we have to get a permiso from the police department. And uh, at least we've got the uh, declaration jurada, the passport is cleared, the, the bike is already allowed into the country. Everything bureaucratic is sorted. Puerto Aguirre. Now I have to wait for the train.
Ah, beleza. Ok. Document sorted. Uh, the document is called Ordem Traslado. Already sorted out. Now we decided that we are going to have something to eat. Puerto Aguirre. But the, the town is called Puerto Quijajo. Okay, Puerto Aguirre. So if you come here, you have to do like a carta jurada. It's called, it's a document that gives you a permission to, to, uh, for your vehicle. And then you have, you know, your passport, obviously, with a visa. And then you have this do, uh, tra traslado, permiso de traslado. It's a document that you get from the police department, which is responsible for, for the roads, for the motorways. Okay, guys. We are leaving the restaurant Zero Express. Now we are going heading towards Santa Cruz de la Sierra, uh, about seven hours away from here. Uh, then we're gonna find a hotel there to crash. Uh, not enough road today, only on road. Uh, here's the view of Puerto Quijajo. Okay guys, leaving the restaurant now. Little bit of rain, I didn't put my water brews because it's not a lot. I'm gonna try to find coffee. Hitting the road towards Santa Cruz de la Sierra. The road condition here is not, is not <laughs> very good. It would be better to do an off-road like yesterday than a road like this. A lot of potholes, uneven roads, the bike slides a little bit, you have to ca be careful with oil, uh, stains on the ground. You know, we are probably going to do a maximum 80 kilometers per hour here to be on the safe side. Okay guys, I have to stop a little bit here. Well, leaving the first police control, we have to go through all each one of the of this and get a stamp on the uh, carta jurada and the orden de traslado. Look at this one. Hey. Hola. Sabe, sabe dónde tiene una una esta, un, a, petróleo, gasolina? Aquí se va a dos cuadras, cabalito y dobla al surtidor. Ok, gracias. La, la avenida así como esta, restinga el surtidor solo. Ok, muchas gracias. Ok, gracias. There it is, the petrol station. Okay, servicio. Servicio. 
I have to fill up, I have to buy, put the, the petrol in a gallon and then this happens because the price of the international price is expensive, it's very difficult for them to account for this. Uma moeda de 5. Agora vamos ver se. Espera um pouquinho, só um pouquinho. Aí não. O cara tem experiência. <risos> quando, fa tiver fa quando tiver faltando um pouquinho. Ok, graças. Este viene con la moto? No, no viene. No, a parte. Este viene con este, este? No, entonces uh, yo he comprado esa. La moto tiene la, la base para colocar el GPS, pero uh, esto te, tuve que comprar. ¿Este cuándo cuesta? Okay guys, we just left the petrol station. Uh, we are heading towards San Jose. Unfortunately, uh, uh, I, 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 I thought my camera was filming and it wasn't. Uh, when I left it, I have to, ref to tell you the, th the same thing again uh, and explain you guys uh, the petrol, the gallon petrol thing. What happens is that uh, if you are an international car, if you come from if, uh, from another country, you have to pay a different price for petrol. And you pay that because Bolivian government subsidizes petrol prices. But they don't want to subsidize petrol prices for international users. So there is a price for Bolivians and a price for uh, international drivers. Uh, what happens is that most petrol station owners, they do not want to fill their tank in a legal way because they have to create an account in their balance sheet and they have to fill up a lot of paperwork uh, in order to, to because this this difference of of price does not doesn't goes to his uh, it's not accounted in his income he has to be passed to the government uh, so they don't want it what they do when you go to the petrol station in Bolivia and you can you have you are an international rider what they will they will tell you to cross the street uh, rent a gallon and come back fill a gallon for the, so that you can fill up your tank and pay Bolivian price this is good because you're gonna pay Bolivian price which is very very is a lot cheaper than you know the, the petrol the, the, the just petrol price uh, well another thing that we notice is that a lot of Bolivians uh, they, uh, we noticed that a lot of Bolivians were also uh, filling up their tanks with gallons. So uh, we, we, we wondered why do these guys, are, are Bolivians, are taking gallons, filling up gallons and take the, the gallons to their cars. The reason is that there is another rule in Bolivia uh, that uh, obliges the petrol station not to sell petrol to cars and motorcycles uh, which are not licensed and there are a lot of cars here that do not have license plates they are not licensed so what these people do to avoid to you know to fill up their tanks they, they do the same way as the international drivers so we come to the conclusion that when the government uh, uses its hands 
to enforce like some rules like this people find ways to dribble it to avoid it so it's not effective you, uh, the government telling you all this because here in Bolivia we notice that the state has a very strong hand in everything is a bureaucratic state so if you want to come to Bolivia uh, a lovely country you probably uh, you need to handle these things you have to uh, you know bear in mind that in all places there is some bureaucratic stuff to do there are rules that are not uh, are followed even by locals Bolivian are hard-working people they are very nice people but you know rules are not working every country has rules that uh, don't work we know that so here we go we have another police stop so probably another stamp more paperwork to fill god damn it let's see now what we have to show so you are trying to find a place to sleep it took us a little while to find the uh, town center oh here it is alojamiento don nacho here we go we found somewhere Ah, obrigado. 